Hello, welcome to video number two of the Mike Tyson's Punch-Out tutorial. And in this video, we are going to go over basic controls and strategies. So we are going to fight Glass Joe during this uh, controls uh, section of the tutorial. And we're going to go over punching, we're going to go over defense, we're going to go over super punches, all kinds of things. Okay, so push the B button to punch the left hand. Push the A button to punch with the right hand. If you want to punch your opponent in the face, you have to hold up as you are punching either with the left hand or with the right hand. All right, let's talk about dodging a little bit. To dodge, you just press left or right. You can dodge either way. Now notice how little Mac is dodging kind of slowly. If you dodge, you're, you can then counter punch your opponent. But notice how that dodge is kind of slow. You can also do something called a quick dodge where little Mac will dodge much more quickly see that to do a quick dodge make sure after you, after you press left to dodge you hold up very quickly and then little Mac will come right back to his fighting stance much more quickly and not only that when little Mac does a quick dodge you will give your opponent some lightning punches like you just saw right there okay so take a look at compared to a slow dodge you can hit your opponent six times compared to a quick dodge you can hit your opponent seven times so that's the difference between a slow dodge and a quick dodge that comes very very valuable in fights later on you will have to do quick dodges a lot against the more advanced opponents okay so we've talked about one form of defense in dodging let's move on and talk about blocking okay to block hold the down button and you will block your opponent's punches. You can counter punch after you block your opponent's punches. Simply hold down. It will take away a little bit of health, but despite the fact that it takes away a little bit of health, you will still be able to counter punch your opponent, like we talked about. Okay, we've talked about blocking. Let's talk about ducking now. To duck your opponent's punches, push the down button twice very quickly, and that is the way you will be able to duck. All right, we've talked about offense, we've talked about defense. Let's talk about our hearts now. Now your hearts are your stamina. When your opponent blocks, you lose a heart. When your opponent hits you, you lose a couple of hearts. Let's see him hit us. See that, we lost three hearts right there. Now, if you block and your opponent hits you, you also lose a heart as well. So those are the different ways that you can lose hearts during a fight. Well, let's say your hearts go all the way down. You will become tired, see that? See how little Mac is really tired right now? To snap out of it right there, because you cannot do anything when you're tired. You can't do anything. Take a look at this right here. We're going to run our hearts down again all the way. Every time your opponent blocks, you lose a heart. And when your heart goes all the way down to zero, I cannot punch now. I cannot punch. Blocking doesn't do me any good. The only thing that you can do is dodge. And when you dodge, you snap out of it and then you're able to hit your opponent again. Now some of your later opponents you might have to dodge two, three, sometimes even four times before Little Max finally snaps out of it and he'll be able to uh, punch again. So see, once you get tired, dodge, when you snap out of it, then you will be able to punch again. So that's what you have to do when you run out of hearts. Okay, let's talk about star punches. Now star punches, when, sometimes when you punch your opponent, a little star will appear above their head. Let's uh, go ahead and make that happen against uh, Glass Joe right here. Keep on punching him until a little star appears. See that? A star appears above his head right there, okay? A star punch is a very, very strong uppercut. In order to do a star punch, what you have to do is just press the start button. Okay, we're going to do it right here in just a second. And here is pushing start. As you can see, Little Mac right there does a very strong star punch. So that is what you do whenever you have a star. Now let's take a look at something else. Let me tell you a little secret about stars as well. Watch my opponent. He's just been knocked down, but he's getting up on number one. If your opponent gets up on number one, if you get a star, now take a look at his health. His health increased the whole way. So when your opponent gets up on number one, their health will increase all the way full. However, if you're able to get a star, you can knock them down right away with only one star punch. There's the star right there. Now watch this. No matter how much health he has, if he gets up on one, next time when you hit him with a star punch, he is going down. And look, he just got up on one again. 
So let's show that again one more time. If you're able to hit him with the star punch, let's get it real quickly. Let's get that star. There it is. Hit him with that star punch very quickly and he will go down right away. Okay. We've talked about punching. We've talked about dodging, blocking, ducking. We've talked about our hearts and we've talked about star punches. Let's talk about guard placement. Okay. I want you to watch Glass Joe's gloves. Look at how they're low right now. Hold up and then his gloves go up. Let go and then his gloves go back down. See that? So you can manipulate your opponent's guard to be in different spots. That will be a little bit important later on in the tutorial. We will talk about different boxers whose guard you will need to manipulate at different times. So we won't talk about that very often, just a handful of times here or there, but uh, it is a pretty important concept to understand. Hold up, guard goes up, let go, guard goes down. Okay, now you'll see that Glass Joe, he reacts very slowly. See, I'm holding up right now. And he takes about two or three seconds for his guard to change. I'm letting go. And see, it, he takes a little bit longer. But you'll see that later fighters, they will react much more quickly the more advanced they get. Okay? Let's talk about rub downs real quickly. At the end of a round, look how little bit of health I have. When, and when three minutes runs in a round, the round is over. Okay? Well, notice how my health is extremely low. If your health is extremely row, uh, low excuse me, at the end of a round you can hold down the select button and notice that your manager will start rubbing your shoulder very fast. Whoops, let's try that again. Your manager will be holding your shoulder very fast. So then what he's going to do is that's going to increase your energy. Take a look at that. See how the energy increased just a little bit right there? So let's do that one more time. At the end of the round, if your energy is extremely low, hold down the select button. Doc will give you a rub down. And then, when you start the next round, your health will increase. And it's only increasing a little bit right there. It, it's pretty random how, how high your health increases. It could just be a tiny bit like it was that time. It could be a whole lot. So that's the way to get extra health between each round. Let's talk about one more thing. We are going to talk about buffer strategies. Okay. Now, buffer strategies, what this means is you'll notice that when Mac fights, look at how he, he punches immediately, okay? I'm holding down A already. And Mac, you now you'll notice when you play Super Mario Brothers, if you hold down A before the level starts, Mario will not jump. You cannot buffer Mario's jumps, but you can buffer Little Mac's punches because he is punching on the earliest frame possible right there every single time. And you can do that by holding down the A button or the B button, either one. You can also buffer dodges as well. The reason you would want to do this and the reason this strategy is so important is because it helps you uh, with your timing. Now, when, when Little Mac does a buffer, as soon as you see him go into his animation, what you want to do is you want to let go of that button and then hold it down again very, very quickly. And what that does is it allows you to punch on the earliest frame possible every single time. There is one opponent that we are going to fight, Piston Honda 2 where buffer strategies are extremely important. So as you can see right now, I am punching on the earliest frame possible every single time because I am just holding the B button down. And as soon as Little Mac goes into his punching animation, I let go and then hold it down again. So I let go only for a split second every single time. I actually messed it up a little bit right there. It is a little bit easy to mess up and you need to uh, just practice it to get used to it. Okay, so let me show you a quick buffer strategy to use against Glass Joe. And this will knock him down at 42 seconds every single time. So all I'm doing is I'm just buffering these punches just like so. And I'm going to buffer until 40 seconds when he backs up. And when he backs up, you just do that simple combination right there. Always make sure you're buffering every single punch. And if you do it properly, he will not get up at all. So that is why buffer strategies are so important because... For some opponents, you are able to use those buffer strategies to accomplish a goal just like we did with Glass Joe, knocking him down in only 42 seconds and defeating him that way. Okay, so that concludes our video number two with the basic controls and strategies. Thank you very much for watching. We are going to go ahead and jump into the uh, opponents with our next video, and we will start with Glass Joe. So thank you very much for watching. If you have any uh, questions or concerns, please leave them in the comments and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Thank you very much for watching.